You mentioned uh, hypothermic patients. Hyper, uh, hyperthermia is right. another treatment that exactly. you have. How do you do that? Is it, do you make it specific to the tumor? Is it a whole body treatment? Yes. How do you do that? And we know historically that hyperthermia, right? Now we want to increase mm -hmm. the temperature, uh, is shown clinically. There's thousands of studies. You could Google or go to PubMed and find hundreds and mm -hmm. not thousands of studies on hyperthermia and the effect that it has on the replication cycle of cancer cells, right? Mm. So even in the U.S. now, they're doing radiation with hyperthermia. Why? Because the hyperthermia makes the cells more sensitive to the radiation and mm. theoretically the results are better, right? So uh, at Hope for Cancer, we use hyperthermia in two modalities. One is local hyperthermia. So mm. if we have someone with a breast tumor, and I'll be able to share some photos with you, you know, if, mm -hmm. if that's necessary. But patients with breast tumors, we could do local hyperthermia. This is a device called Indiba that we get from Spain. It's used at uh, German and Swiss clinics, or, uh, clinics in Austria as mm -hmm. well. It's a well-known device, very effective for local regional hyperthermia, okay? And that's done on a daily basis. Okay. Uh, then we have a full body hyperthermia unit. Uh, that we want to get the oral temperature to about 101.5. So, you know, induce uh, Small a fever. nice fever, right? Mm -hmm. uh, nothing dangerous. And that's done three days a week with a break in between. Um, before it was thought that for hyperthermia to be effective, you had to get to temperatures of about 106, 107 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. More studies now have shown that that's not true, that at 101 and above, you start seeing cancer cell death uh, with hyperthermia. And uh, well, that made us happy because I never wanted to do those high temperatures. Yeah. You know, it's, it's very risky. You mm -hmm. have a lot of cell, red blood cell lysis. Sometimes these patients would need blood transfusions, mm -hmm. right, and many other potential complications. So this is totally safe. And, um, and effective and specifically when you combine it you know, with other therapies. So you're trying to get at the mechanism of cancer in, in, in different angles. Mm -hmm.